Hey you guys, I'm bringing you guys another art tutorial today. Um, you can see we've got the same drawing that we had last time. We're going to continue working in this space. We're just going to do it on another layer so that we can keep these tutorials separate. What I wanted to cover today is how to draw regular repeating patterns in a drawing. So examples of this could be stuff like maybe you're drawing a skyscraper and you want all of the floors to be the same height. Well, you're not going to draw exactly the same shape in each case because as an object gets closer to you, it's going to get, let me switch to my pencil tool and do that again, it's going to get bigger. So we know that our reference point was, so, yeah, somewhere along there. So we know, we know that things that get closer to us are going to get bigger. That means that even though your floors of your skyscraper might be the same size, they're going to be larger in your drawing the closer the closer they are to your eye. So if you're at the bottom of the skyscraper, it'll look biggest when you're at when you're looking at floors at the base, and vice versa if maybe you're doing a bird's eye view of a building. So there's a really simple technique that I learned for doing regular repeating patterns. And in order to explain this, I'm going to need to draw something to work with. So in this tutorial I thought it'd be cool to do kind of the setup that you would do for doing like a street lamp, a row of street lamps. So we've got the line marking the base of our lamps um, here and then we've got the top of the pole for our lamp post marked here. Um, obviously lamp posts are usually vertical so we need a vertical line here And I think I might even, let's switch to a darker tool. Let's do the ballpoint. And that should give me a little bit of a darker line if I make it a little bigger. And we'll make that straight black so it'll show up better on screen. And that's better. All right, so we figured out a height that we like for our lamp posts. Um, we can draw our second lamp post just by connecting it to the top and bottom of our perspective lines. Like so. Really nothing too hard about that. But since we want it to look like the city had some sort of planning going into it, which I know that might not make sense to some of us who live in the city because it can be kind of crazy sometimes, we at least want it to look like it was planned out. So. We want, the, we want the lamp post to have an equal amount of distance between them, but we want that done in perspective, which means that as it gets further away, it's going to get smaller and smaller. So this is where this technique starts to come in really handy. We're going to use our ruler tool and line it up with the opposing corners of our square shape that's implied by the space between our two lamp posts. And you can draw a whole line. You only really need this X here in the middle because we're going to do point to point from both directions. And what this does is it sets up a point in the middle of this space that's now done in perspective. So if you line this up with where perspective dot is, and we could also do this in perspective mode. Um, it works either way. But we're now going to draw a line going halfway through the implied rectangle between our two lamp posts. And what this allows us to do is now we can draw a regular repeating interval by going from the top left corner of our square shape and crossing through the perspective middle of its opposing side. Then if we draw a small line here, that gives us the construction for the next space that we need to draw our lamp post. So switch back to perspective mode and we're going to draw a vertical line here. Now if we were to take a ruler out and measure these distances it's very obvious from even looking at it that the distance from this line here to this line is significantly bigger than the distance between this line and this line. 
and that's what we want. That means that as you get closer to the perspective or the horizon point, things are going to get smaller, and that's what happens in reality. So we can keep this going. We'll pull out our ruler tool again, and we'll just keep on adding intervals. So just by switching pretty quick from perspective and ruler mode, we can get these constructions construction lines done pretty quick. And you just move your ruler over each time and you just do those little construction lines at the bottom to help you get it where you need it. And if we were to keep going, what we would, what we would eventually see is that we'd get a group of lines getting really close together and it'd start to look darker and darker the closer we got to the point because the lines would get closer and closer. So that's really it for doing these regular intervals. To make things look prettier afterward, obviously you're going to grab your eraser tool or an actual eraser if you're doing this in traditional art mediums, and you're just going to erase all the now unnecessary construction lines. So if I wanted to call it good and say, okay, I've got a street with one, two, three, four, five, five-ish blocks on it, a lamppost at each corner, then we could call it good and we can erase all these perspective lines. I hope you found this tutorial useful and I hope and I'd love to see what you guys use it to create. If you want to share it down in the comments, let me know if you if you think there's something I should cover in future videos or if there's some if, if you have questions about the technique that I showed here today. Anyways, that's all I have for you today. I hope you found this useful, and have a great day.